Hey, so I'm going to talk a little bit about what's going on right now in the Dakotas. Um, on Sunday night in North Dakota, the police and the Standing Rock Dakota Access Pipeline protesters got into an altercation. As you can see on my screen here, a young protester named Sophia Wolanski was critically injured during police attack at Standing Rock. This is from Democracy Now! I'll put a link below the video. As you can see, this is Sophia. She was injured by rubber bullets and an explosion. Now, the police and the protesters are have contrasting accounts of what happened. According to the protesters, the police were firing flash grenades at protesters or throwing grenades at protesters according to the police the protesters are setting off propane bombs such as this one this is what they claim they found now whether this would account for the injuries or not remains to be seen the protesters are claiming that they're not doing this now it's possible there are subversive elements within the protests that are causing this trouble this has happened before um, you know agents from one interest or another infiltrate protest movements uh, create violence and causes problems uh, this is the dad of Sophia Walensky being interviewed about his daughter's injuries she may lose her arm a link to the video too down there so you can check it out have this picture um, showing water cannons the police are using this is from Birmingham Alabama 1964 similar tactics now, right now there are veterans groups that are organizing like a military unit to defend DAPL protesters from militarized police um, they have a GoFundMe page um, again I'll put links for this kind of stuff in if you feel inclined and you have some extra cash that you could maybe donate now the reason I'm playing the song you're hearing in the background which is the song Ohio by Neil Young is because this reminds me of the Kent State shootings the Kent State massacre which happened on May 4th of 1970 um, police or rather the National Guard showed up they killed four students injured critically nine other students and basically created a terrorist situation on US soil in Ohio and you know it was it was a major problem and I think that history has now looked at Kent State shootings as a major horrible shameful moment in American history and I think that no matter how you feel about the Dakota Access Pipeline, whether you agree with the protesters, what they're protesting or not, any concerned American should be standing up against this type of police brutality against protesters. Uh, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree.